Hey, Jill. Here's a situation we've all faced before. After work, on campus, and at the shopping mall. But what if it was a dangerous situation? Are we truly prepared? What about those close to us? Our parents, our children, our spouses? The FBI reports that a violent crime occurs in our country every 19 seconds. Experts agree. The single most important step you can take to ensure your personal safety is to make the decision to refuse to be a victim. Assaults are committed for, uh, for many reasons. They're committed because the criminal uh, wants to manipulate. He wants a sense of power. He believes that he can take it. He wants it. He sees it, whether it be your watch, whether it be a sexual assault, whatever it is, he feels it's his. He's going to take it, and he's not going to have to face any consequences. There is no such thing as a typical criminal. They come in all shapes and sizes, whether it's a well-dressed man or a teenage girl. So with every step, Americans must weigh their personal safety against the increasing odds of criminal confrontation. I know that sometimes I feel at risk in certain situations and I don't know what to do. Do you know what to do in potentially dangerous situations? To protect yourself, you need a safety plan in place before a potentially dangerous situation arises. At the NRA special seminar, Refuse to be a Victim, you'll learn safety through awareness and avoidance. Excuse when asked me. for directions, how can you Excuse stay me, safe? You know how to get to Boone Again, if you're asked for directions, I don't know. And to give directions, I don't have to walk right up to your car. I can give directions from way back here, and I can keep moving as I'm going. Officer Howard Sellers, Sheriff of Aiken County, South Carolina, brought the Refuse to be a Victim seminar to his community. I was interested in something to introduce into the community to try to tie together our community policing initiatives with involving citizens in making their own lives safer. And this program seemed to be a really good answer for that. Designed by experts and taught by law enforcement professionals and concerned citizens, this seminar is taught across the country, often at colleges and universities. Many organizations in your community have also taken advantage of the Refuse to be a Victim's safety message. Local law enforcement officers from Boston to San Diego are certified to teach the program. And the seminar has even been taught in our nation's capital to members of the House of Representatives and at state capitals throughout the country. At the Refuse to be a Victim seminar, your group will learn important tips for proper home security, phone security. Hello, 911. Automobile security. and physical security. Thousands of Americans have increased their personal safety by attending the NRA's Refuse to be a Victim seminar, and you can too. When you are going someplace and you're leaving your car, let's say you're taking it into the garage, number one, they have your name, they have your address, and they have your telephone number. And now you've just handed them your keys. Are you gonna hand them all your keys? or you're just going to hand them the key that goes to the ignition. That's all they need. The common sense procedures presented work together to help you avoid crime before it happens to you. Anytime you're in a situation that uh, you're uncomfortable with, it's always nice to know what kind of uh, measures you can take to not only prevent a bad situation, but how to get yourself out of that situation if it does occur. Whether it be a civic agency, university club, or senior citizens group, everyone can benefit from this seminar, just like an officer seller's community. We have uh, well over 100 crime watch groups in our county, and most of those have expressed a desire to host or refuse to be a victim program for the people in their neighborhood. The opportunities are endless. In this program, I have to say, I'm, I'm really pleased with what the management of this program has done. It's continually updated. It's upgraded. Our safe, confidential environment allows you to empower and protect yourself, enhancing your personal freedom. You can refuse to be a victim, and we can help. The Refuse to be a Victim seminar is not about firearms. It's about planning your own personal safety strategy. Call now to learn more about this highly acclaimed crime prevention program, including information on instructor training. Find out today how Refuse to be a Victim can make a difference in your community. The choice is yours, but a few hours out of your day is certainly worth the security of a lifetime.